The Toyota Camry has long been referred to as a transportation appliance by many automotive enthusiasts. But for many Americans, that's just what they need. With one of the best reliability records in the industry, strong resale value, and it's easy to live with nature, no wonder why it's been the best selling car in America for the last 14 years. So let's go ahead and check out this fifth generation 2006 Toyota Camry LE. Now this generation Camry lasted from 2002 to 2006 and Toyota gave the Camry a mid-cycle refresh in the 2005 model year which included updated styling on the inside and out and updated features such as a rear center headrest and new gauges on the instrument cluster as well as stereo mounted audio controls too. Now our Camry we have here is the base LE trim and there's essentially three different trim levels that you can get on the 2006 Camry. There's the LE like how we have here and then the sporty SE model and then the very luxurious XLE. Now here goes the key fob design for the vehicle. As you can see it's Toyota's old remote keyless entry. You have your lock, unlock and then to release your trunk right here and then your panic button is on the back. Now it's a green exterior color And you also do have a beige cloth interior. Now when Toyota gave the Camry a mid-cycle refresh in 05, they also upgraded the seat fabrics. You have a power driver's seat with power recline and power lumbar. All right, now stepping on inside of the Camry here, the step-in height is fairly low. But as you can see, it's a fairly basic looking interior, but we do have the LE model, which is a pretty basic model. But I wouldn't really say that it aged all that well. It does look like it came straight out of 2006. And this generation Camry was at the end of its generation back in 06, so kind of explains why it looks a little dated. And this whole design is basically from 2002. And what you're hearing there is a 2.4 liter four cylinder. Coming to the transmission, we have a five speed automatic and Toyota updated this unit in 2005 when they gave it a refresh. And then it also does have lower gear selection and then you have an overdrive mode. You have your parking brake right there. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards. Take a closer look at the exterior of the vehicle. Automatic driver's side window. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Fifteen inch steel wheels. Halogen headlights with halogen daytime running lights. Now powering the Camry here was the most popular powertrain back in 2006 for the vehicle. It's a 2.4 liter inline four cylinder that produces 154 horsepower at 5,700 RPM and 160 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM with EPA estimates being 21 in the city and 30 on the highway. Now you can go for a five-speed manual transmission or a five-speed automatic. A three liter V6 was also available and if you get the SE models, you can also go for a more powerful 3.3 liter V6. But we'll see what this baby can do when we hit the road later in the video. Now, competitors of the 2006 Toyota Camry, you have the vehicles in the mid-size sedan class, 
This includes the likes of the Honda Accord, Ford Fusion, Nissan Altima, Subaru Legacy, Mazda 6, and the Chevrolet Malibu. Now, of course, you have all of your basic powered features, power windows, door locks, and mirrors, chrome interior door handles. All right, now, taking the 2006 Toyota Camry for a test drive. Now, the Camry is known for being a vehicle that has a very easy to live with kind of nature, and that's pretty easy to, to drive as well. And this 2006 Toyota Camry certainly lives up to that. Um, it provides a very smooth and a pretty comfortable ride. It soaks up road bumps pretty well, I have to say. The 2.4 liter four cylinder we have here certainly provides enough power for the vehicle. There's really no need for more power here, but if you want, you can go for a more powerful three liter V6 that's found in the LE and the XLE models, or you could go for a more powerful 3.3 liter V6 that's found in the SE models. But it certainly provides enough get up and go. What I really love about this powertrain is the five speed automatic. Um, this transmission just shifts very smoothly. It works very well with this four cylinder engine here. It's actually one of the best powertrains I've ever tested in a vehicle to be honest this is very responsive very refined too i love this powertrain here and also what i love about this car is the visibility there's plenty of visibility in this car lots of glass area all around and i found a pretty comfortable driving position overall this 2006 toyota camry certainly is very easy to live with and it's pretty easy to drive now with it being very easy to drive, that may be a good thing or a bad thing for some people. More of a bad thing if you're an automotive um, enthusiast. Now, the steering and the handling doesn't really offer a whole lot of feedback. I'd say the sportiest mid-size sedan back in 06, or the best handling one, was the 2006 Mazda 6. But this is a car that has a very easy to live with kind of nature so it's kind of understandable um the steering and the handling is pretty numb here i mean it's not going to run circles around other vehicles this is just a car that gets you from point a to point b Now the best part about the Camry's interior is certainly how comfortable it is. The seats are very plush and provide plenty of thigh support that are great for long road trips. They're very soft and it's also pretty spacious inside of here, especially for the front occupants. I have plenty of knee room and headroom as well as leg room too. I found a pretty comfortable driving position. Overall, the interior is just a very comfortable place to be in. Now, build quality and materials are actually pretty good inside of here this was the generation before they started to cheapen out on their quality inside but you have nice soft touch materials on the upper door panel it's also wrapped in cloth on the mid door panel on the armrest dashboard is a nice softly padded material as well and this portion too pretty surprised there and build quality is excellent. No panel gaps inside of here or anything like that. All of the interior trim and pieces fit well together and they don't creak. And this is a 10 year old vehicle and it's holding up pretty well. But this is a pretty low mileage Camry. It only has 71,000 miles, most likely driven by your grandma. Um, coming to the steering wheel, you do have your steering wheel mounted audio controls, which do come standard on 2005 and 2006 Camrys and they added that as standard equipment 
in the 2005 model year. But you have your audio controls right here. And then you also do have your cruise control too. And the steering wheel does tilt, but it does not telescope. Coming up here, you have your manually dimming rear view mirror, sunglass container, map lights. Now some pretty nice options that you could get on the 06 Camry included a navigation system, dual zone climate control, and heated seats for the front occupants. You could also get a rear sunshade back there which they no longer offer on the new Camrys which is quite surprising. Down here you also do have dual cup holders and then a 12 volt power outlet. Little storage cubby down there. Center console, it is also nice and soft touch. And they have plenty of center console storage down there too. The AC controls are very simple, a very clear looking layout here. You have your fan speeds, your temperatures, and your different zones, easy as that. Very user friendly and pretty intuitive to use. You also do have instrument windshield wipers, of course. And coming to the gauges, you have full instrumentation for the gauges. On the left, you have your coolant temperature, your tachometer, and then your speedometer and then your fuel gauge is on the right and then you have your odometer down there and then you have your trip information too on that little screen pretty simple coming to the head unit say basic radio head unit you have am fm cd player and then you also do have your presets right here it's a pretty good sound system you could also get a jbl sound system and then you have your digital clock up there as well as your exterior temperature readout. Little coin box or a little cubby. As far as visibility goes in the Camry, visibility is pretty good. Lots of glass area all around. No sloping roof line like how you will find on newer cars nowadays. It's pretty easy to see out of this Camry. All right, and let's go ahead and shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Build quality and materials do follow through in the rear, which is nice. Sitting back here in the Camry, we do have dual map pockets and it's pretty spacious back here. I have plenty of headroom and decent amount of leg room too, not too shabby. And we also do have a rear center armrest with cup holders and you also do have headrests that are adjustable. The rear seats also do fold down 60-40 split for more cargo space. All right. Plenty of trunk space as well. Full manual passenger seat. Glove box compartment. So the 2006 Toyota Camry may not have been the most stylish or sportiest midsize sedan on the market back in 06. However, it still was an excellent choice because of its great value and its practicality. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.